Hello everyone, we're gonna start in a few minutes. So let's get ready. Hello everyone, we're gonna start right now with our class. Hello. No hay nadie, me voy, come. Hi teacher. Good evening teacher. Good evening. Good evening, how are you today? Good evening teacher. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Many people today, Teresa, Gerardo, Aide, Sandra, Ana, Marina, <laughs> hi Marina, Edwin, Miriam, Veronica, and Jonathan. Now, let's go ahead and practice here today. Today, we're going to see a lot of workbook practice, okay? Vamos a hacer bastante trabajo del libro, right? We need to catch up with that. Tenemos que ponernos al día con eso, right? And let's start. First of all, let me call the attendance. Veamos la asistencia acá. Right, today is Thursday, 30th of the month. Ana Alicia Valle. Presente. Thank you. Brenda Yamilet. Brenda. Uy, no está Brenda. What? Okay. Daniela María. Daniela María. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Pues, 
Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Thank you, Edwin. Fátima Joana. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Presente, Ay, de la Presente, Santos, Paz. Presente, Tito. Ahí era Donis Martín Molina. Ya sé que voy después de Colocho. Ay, sí, da, ay, sí, da. Let's see. Jaira Donis. No está. Jonathan Alexis. Presente, teacher. Juana Cristela Euseda García. Juanita. No está. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Thank you. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente, teacher. Miriam Arely Romero Luna. Presente. Sandra. Oh, thank you, Miriam. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Presente. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente, teacher. Very well. Thank you so much. So we have a few people that have not, that are not in the class Yo, yet. teacher. Verónica Esmeralda, no la mencioné. ¡Eh! Perdón. No. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. La bebé. Presente, teacher. <laughs> la bebé. Ok. ¿Cuántos años tiene? How old are you? Suficientes para estar aquí bien. 22. Oh, yes. You are a baby. Yes. <laughs> ya para los 30 voy a poder tres idiomas, no se preocupe. Right. You would see. Now we're going to do today a little bit of um, the exercises that we didn't do yesterday, right? We're going to do that and we're going to continue also with the exercises from today, right? Now let me show you here my computer. One moment. Yesterday we practiced with can and could, right? Now can you tell me please when am I uh, when am I supposed to use could, Gerardo? When can I use could? Not an example. Tell me, please, uh, for the function. En qué momento de la vida tengo que utilizar could? Could. Uh -huh. Cuando nos referimos a alguien superior, por digamos, por respeto. Como no imponiendo algo, es como, could you give me your number phone? Or could you give me, eh, could you sell me a report, please? O cuando nos referimos a nuestro boss, a nuestra madre, a, no, a alguien superior. En ese momento podemos usar could. Ok, that's when we use could. Very good. ¿Y qué está? Qué está? Ya dijo... ¿A quién se va a referir? Ahora dígame por qué se va a referir a ellos de esa, de esa forma. Por respeto, digamos, porque no hay por que... Por respeto, solo por respeto. Hmm. Eh, bueno, quiero ver, espérame, quiero ver todo. Quiero ver que para otra cosa, ¿qué más? Podríamos usar para generar alguna pregunta. Good. Ya. Yeah. Para generar alguna pregunta. ¿Qué otra cosa? Cuando no conocemos a alguien, digamos, también podríamos usarlo. Pero ahí me está diciendo, todo me está diciendo a quién se va a dirigir, no por qué lo va a utilizar de esa forma. Good. Porque es más formal, dicha. Yes, ok, it is very formal. Y ahora, ¿por qué voy a usar formal? I don't, I don't remember, teacher. You don't remember? Mm -mm -mm. No. What about the others? Eh, Veronica, what else do you remember? I don't remember. Ah, uh -huh. why, 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 why? Ah, recuerdo porque cuando te expresamos algún deseo, could, no, o no, 
Es, no. que, es que eso sería como podría. Es, sí, digamos... pero esa es la posible traducción. But we're not talking mm. about translation. You told us that is request. Exactly. Very good. You are making a request. You make a request, a formal request to someone that has a higher rank, like the ones that Gerardo mentioned, right? Estamos haciendo solicitudes. Para eso lo vamos a utilizar, right? Si yo estoy haciendo una solicitud a alguien y es una solicitud formal, utilizo could, right? What about can? It's also for requests, right? But it's for a request that it's informal. And it can be informal to whom? To my friends, to my family, right? Someone that I may also respect to, but not so much, right? Thank you, Ana. Thank you, Gerardo. Thank you, Veronica, for your answers. Very good. Now, can you tell me an example, Sandra, using could? Estamos recapitulando lo que hicimos ayer. Okay. So Sandra, could you? Uh huh. Could, could you, you what? Uh, could you read the report? Could you read the report? Okay. Could you read the could report? Read the report. Okay. Very good. Could you read the report? Okay. Very good. What else do you have? Can you tell me an example I did with could? Could you bring me a cup of coffee? Could you bring me a cup of coffee? That's great, yes, I could bring you a cup of coffee. Very good idea. I did choose another person. Um, déjeme ver dónde está. Marina. Marina. La veo seria. <laughs> Ay, no, no me le escape. <laughs> And could you eat, no, sí, could you to eat pupusas? Could no. you? Eat, to eat. Oh, can I use two? ¿Puedo utilizar two? Ah, no, aquí me confundí con el anterior, ve. Yeah. No. Oh, sí. <laughs> <laughs> could you eat only eat? Could you eat pupusas? Could you eat pupusas? Excellent. Very good. Now I can say yes, of course I can, right? But in that case, it's not a, the way to say, would you like to eat pupusas? That would be another option, yes. Ah, but could you? It's okay too. Yes, it's okay too. Remember here, right? What matters is the intention, la función del idioma, right? What matters is the function, right? Si estoy utilizando esto para decir un request, puedo utilizar could. Si lo estoy utilizando para hacer una offer, right? Then it's would. Eso es lo que, recuérdense, el eh, inglés ya tiene sus funciones gramaticales. ¿Para qué voy a utilizar esto? Es como cuando ustedes dicen, ¿y cómo digo esto en español? ¿Cómo, perdón, ¿cómo digo esto en inglés? Entonces, es lo mismo. ¿Cómo lo digo? De esta forma, siguiendo esta forma gramatical. Right? That's what we're going to do. Ok. Ok, Sandra, ¿cuál es tu pregunta? I wrote, uh, would use it in, in an offer and could formal request to. Uh -huh. To? Okay. Now we're going to continue here. Tell me, please, an example, Teresa.
Teresa, can you give me an example with Ken? Mm -hmm. Dance. Remember Dance. that can is also also for requests, but informal requests. So make a request uh, to your friends or to your family. Hey, can my friend uh, mm -hmm. can my friend take coffee? <laughs> Can my friend make the copies? Uh -huh. Okay, can my friend make the copies? Okay, very good. Can my friend make the copies? Okay, good, right? Very good. Now we're gonna do here, right? Something to continue, right? Ahora, mi pregunta es ustedes. ¿Entendemos el uso de could? ¿Entendemos el uso de can? Yes, Por favor, teacher. ok. Yes, no me digan que sí, después nos va a costar un poquito más, ok. Es mejor practicar, right? And then we can continue working with that. Teacher, ahorita yo, ¿saben que me siento confundida? En lo que qué? me confundí que le dije con tú antes. Lo, lo confundí con la clase anterior, ¿verdad? Eh, con will, sí. Con will. Pero esos errores son comunes porque como los acabamos de ver en la misma ah, semana. Uh -huh. Está bien, está bien. Yeah, so don't worry about that. Good, good, good. Now, we're going to go then and we're going to start here with another question, right? Let me show you. It says, let's talk. Right, it's, we have two questions here. Daniela, can you read the two questions? What is the most common problem with printers? How often do you use them? How often do you use them? Very good. What is the most common problem with printers? How often do you use them? For you, uh, Karen, what is the most common problem with printers? Please repeat, teacher. Question number one. What is the most common problem with printers? Is it a stable the paper? What? Es que trabar, creo que dijo que si era. Ah, stock paper? Unstable, ¿verdad? No, unstable uh, no, no es trabajo. <laughs> ah, no, perdón. Entonces, perdón. Unstable significa inestable. Escríbalo ahí, inestable. Unstable, inestable. Inestable. Inestable, yes. But what about, what about the printer? Se, ajá, que se traba el papel, pero trabar se me ha ido como se escribe. Ok. A ver, ¿cómo dinde el público? <risa> Gerardo, help me. <risa> bueno, de, de, de word, trabar. Trabar. Ajá, solo eso quiere que le diga. Yes. Trabar. What is the meaning of trabar, Gerardo? <risa> oh, no sé cómo... <risa> No sé cómo se dice y le da risa. Excuse me. ¿Cómo dice? Ajá. Teacher sería paper stock. Paper is, ok, stock paper. Stock, the paper uh, stock paper. is a stock in the printer. Very good. That was Maricela. Okay. Thank you. Ok. Thank you, Maricela. <laughs> Los dos risas le da. Ok, so what would be the answer? Eh... Karen, a stock paper. A stock paper. A stock paper. Okay, what's another problem? What is another common problem for you? Eh, escoja alguien, Marisela. 
Que no sean ellos dos porque le ayudan. <risa> um, Ana. Ana, what is another problem, Ana? I use often a printer, but I suppose so. I believe that could be the the the, the ink is off. Oh, sí, verdad? Okay, it runs out of ink. Okay, very good. It doesn't have any ink. Yeah, that's right. Okay, doesn't. Any ink. Very good, girls. Excellent examples. Right? Now, how often do you use the printers? Jonathan Alexis, how often do you use printers? Jonathan? 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 Jonathan va manejando, creo, teacher. Va manejando este cipote. Ok. Bueno, hay de ella que usted está aquí, despierta. Dígame. <ríe> How often do you use printers? Es jueves, ¿verdad? Ya se siente. Uh -huh. I use the printer every day. Every day, ok. I, you know, usually. every day, usually. I rarely use printers now that I remember. I send everything online. Very good. What about you, um, Teresa? How often do you use printers? I I usually I usually uh, every day. I usually use printers or every day. Uh, Usually or every day? Aha. Uh -huh. Usually. I usually. Use, I usually printer. Okay. I usually use printers. Remember? Repeat. I usually use. I printers. usually use printers. Very good. Así que el 90% de mi tiempo utilizo las impresoras. Okay. O imprimidoras, dicen ahora. Right. Now we're gonna do workbook, guys. We're gonna do workbook. Yesterday we said that we were gonna do workbook. Hoy nos toca. Tenemos uno que otro ejercicio por aquí. ¿Dónde está? Por aquí está. With could. But we're gonna do mostly exercises from the book. So we're gonna start on page 42. Aquí ya llevamos la línea de lo que vamos a hacer. Right? But let's start on page 42. Let me take a look at this. Can you see my computer? Uy. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Very well. Very well. Page 42. We have a small conversation that I want you to practice for pronunciation. Okay? So, we have Mike and Maria. Right? I'm going to do Mike and Karen. It's going to be Maria. Okay, Karen? Ready? Okay, Mike Hernandez, IT department. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and is making a straight noise. Oh, okay. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the on the error button. Okay. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be there right away. Right. Very good. Thank you so much. Karen, Karen, choose another person and choose another person. Uh, -da 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 -da. Veronica. Veronica. And I will choose Vanessa Vasquez. 
alias Marina, okay? <laughs> Marina, you are Mike. Veronica, yes, you are Maria. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This this is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mr. Ochoa? I doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. No. Uh -huh. Is there a mess mes message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come some to check it. I see. It'll be there right away. Very well. Thank you so much. Excellent. Now we're going to check here some of the words, okay? We're going to check here. Pay attention. Uy, que feo este color. Give me a moment. We're going to check this one. Accounting. Repeat. Accounting. 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 Sandra, repeat. Accounting. Accounting. Very good. Now repeat with me the following. Okay. Give me a moment. It doesn't seem to be working. It doesn't seem to be working. Repeat, Sandra. It doesn't seem to be working. Very good. Todos los demás repitan con su micrófono apagadito. Okay, very good. Gerardo, repeat with me. Strange noise. It's strange, strange noise. Noise. Very well. Eh, Juana, repeat with me. A message. Juana Cristela Eusada García con número de Dui. Repeat. One, a message. A message. Very good. Daniela, control panel. Control panel. Control panel. Very good. Repeat with me. Oof. Anna. Error button. Error button. Error button. Very good. Now let's see here. Repeat with me, Teresa. Soon. 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 Very good. Soon. Now, Marina, repeat with me. I'll be there. I'll, I'll be there. I'll. 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 Ahí voy a estar. I'll be there. I'll be there. Uh -huh. Ya llego. I'll be there. Cuando ustedes me preguntan a alguien, ya voy a llegar vos. I'll be there. Okay? I'll, be there. I'll be there right away. Ya voy a llegar. Ahorita llego. Ahorita llego. I'll be there right away. Right? Esa sería la, la interpretación salvadoreña. Ahorita llego vos. I'll be there right away. Right? Now, to repeat with me, Daniela. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Okay, ahora una de las dos palabras. Right away. Right away. Más rápido. Right away. Right away. Right away. There you are. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Now, ya que practicamos la pronunciación, right? I'm hoping Mike, which is Gerardo, and Maria, which is Ana, they won't make any mistakes. So let's do it. Okay. Uh, Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mr. Ochoa? Mrs. Please. I'm sorry, Mrs. Ochoa. <laughs> It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange, a strange noise. 
Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error bottom. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I'll be, I'll be there right, now, right away. Sorry. Okay, as very good. quickly as you could. Okay, excellent. Very good, Anna. Right now, we have very good conversation here with these words. Do you have questions about vocabulary? This is the would like, right? Tienen preguntas acerca del vocabulario? Algo que no les haya quedado claro? Hoy es cuando, como dice mi papá. Message es como que si fuera una esdrújula, ¿verdad? Con la message, is con the, la fuerza de voz en la primera E, message. Message, yes. Message. 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 Ma Massage. Ma Ma uh -huh. Message. No se confunda con massage. Like, ah, oh, a massage. Mm -hmm. right? That is different. Massage. Mm -hmm. Message, massage. Mm -hmm. Any other word? Karen? Teacher, what is the, <laughs> what is the meaning? A strange noise. A strange ah, noise. Ah, you know, I sent my other laptop, I sent it to the technician. Right, my own technician, porque en la compañía no me lo paga. <laughs> right, so I sent it to the technician because it makes a sound when I turn on the laptop. It makes a, a strange sound, a strange noise, like pee, pee. That's a noise, right? For example, right now, if you listen to the noise, you, I, I think you can listen to this. Can you listen to that noise? Can you listen to that noise? No, right? Let me check it here. I have a noise in my house because I have the air conditioning. But it's an old air conditioning, so let me put it here. Let me make a change. Now, tell me if you can listen to this strange noise. There is a strange noise right now. Can you listen to that noise? Escuchan ese sonido, ¿no? Le dice strange. That is the microphone, microphone, the strange mm. noise. Yes, the strange noise, es un ruido strange. extraño. Ruido extraño. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ruido, noise. Strange, extraño. Ruido extraño. Un ruido que decimos, ¿y por qué hace ese ruido? Vas a ver. Vos ahí, mandala que te la arregle. Right? A strange noise. Thank you, Karen. What is another word? Now, error. You need to make sure it's error. Error. Error button. Error button. Okay. No more questions? Should I continue? Let's continue then. Continuamos. Yes. Very yes, good. Teacher. Okay. Thank you so much. Now we say we know here the answers, right? So we have made more difficult. Remember this part in the book, they will help you to understand a little bit more. Okay. Mostly this one. We're not gonna watch it here, but it will help you. Now we did this. Let's go to this page. Let's go to page 44. Page 44. Are you on page 44? ¿Ya está en la página 44? Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Verónica, can you read the instructions on page 44? Only the instructions. Read about printer qualities and answer the question below. Very good. We're going to listen to the characteristics of a printer, to the qualities of a printer, right? And then we're gonna answer some questions. So we have here, color, resolution, speed, and memory. Now, listen to me. I am going to read the whole paragraph out loud so you can listen to the pronunciation, okay? Yo lo voy a leer en voz alta, pongan atención, okay? ¿Por qué lo voy a leer en voz alta? Porque tiene palabras 
eh, que no hemos visto tal vez anteriormente o que se les han olvidado por la obvia razón. Pongan atención porque después voy a escoger a cuatro que lean cada uno un párrafo completo. ¿Ok? So, let's pay attention. Vean la pantalla, dejen lo que tienen en la mano ahí, vean la pantalla y vamos leyendo al mismo tiempo que yo voy leyendo. ¿Ok? No se duerma, Marina, no se duerma. Don't fall asleep. Right? Now, let's start. Voy a leer, no voy a leer despacio, voy a leer normal. Right? Como debe practicarse. So. Color. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution. Printer resolution, the sharpness of text and images on paper, is usually measured in dots per inch, DPI. Max and expensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. Speed. If you do much printer, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printer is lower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. Okay, we have four here, right? Now, after we do that, right, we are going to read one more time. Vamos a practicar pronunciación. I need four volunteers. Cuatro voluntarios. Veamos. Voy, yo, yo te echo. Okay, Gerardo, number one. Who's another one? Aide, number Me. two. Me. And Daniela, number three. Me, And teacher. Ana, okay? okay. The, the first <laughs> round <laughs> is going to be... Five. Okay. Le va a ceder el puesto. Okay. We're going to do here. Gerardo, thank you, Ana. Gerardo, Aide, Daniela, and Marina. Okay? So, Gerardo, you go with color. Go ahead, color. please. Yes, just color. let me, yes, just let me put it here. Okay. Color is important for users who need to print page for presentation or maps and other page where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black black and white color printers printers are more expensive to operate since they used to ink esa no sé cómo se dice continue Podría continue cartridges cartridges mm -hmm. on color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of page will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Very nice, Gerardo. Excellent job. Look at that. That was amazing. Thank you. Very good, Gerardo. Thank you very much. Now we're going to do here our next person. It's going to be Aide. Right, thank you again, Gerardo. Excellent work. Right, we're going to listen Hi. to Aide. Resolution. Resolution. 
printed resolution, the sharpness of text and ima images on paper is usually measured in dots per inch. DPA, most, in, most in, inexpensive printer provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at six, six, 600 DPA. D, okay, DPI, very good, excellent. I did, thank you so much. Let's go with, let's give a, a reaction to I did. Perfect. Now let's go, Daniela, speed. Speed, if you do much printer, printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. In expensive printing, printers print only about three to six sheets? sheets per minute. Color printer printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Very nice, thank you so much. Daniela, that was a great job. Thank you. Right. We go with that reaction to Daniela. Excellent. And memory. Marina. Marina, ¿qué se hizo Marina? Ay. Teacher, Marina le está dispuesto de regreso a Ana porque dice que se le apagó la compu. Ana, se me apagó la compu. Okay. Ve que galán. <laughs> Memory. Mm. Memory. Mm -hmm. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte. That can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out page with large images or tables with lines around, around them, which the printer treats as a large images. images. Very good, as a large image. Perfect, Thanks. Anna. Excellent job. You see, this is perfect pronunciation. We're doing really good right now. Right, thank you so much, Ana. Right, for excellent pronunciation. I did, Daniela and Gerardo, you also did excellent. Right, now, do we understand the reading? Eso lo acabamos de leer para pronunciación, right? No para análisis de las preguntas, right? Pronunciation only. Now, after the pronunciation, we are going to go here and there are four, five questions. Look at that, we have five questions. Uh, question number one, can you read it for me, Sandra? Solo leal. Read for me question number one, please. Okay. Why is, why is color important for some users? Very good. Why is color important for some users? Excellent, Sandra. Karen, read number two. What does DPI stand for? Excellent. Now, read number three, Veronica. Why are color printer more expensive? Excellent job. Read for me, Marina, number four. What is something important for someone who prints a lot? Who prints a lot, very good. And number five, Miriam Luna. Read number five. Lea la número cinco. Okay. What? <laughs> what is the amount of memory that that months print printers? Uh -huh. Printers come with. Come with. Very good, Miriam. Thank you so much. So we have there our five questions, right? Read one more time, leanlo de nuevo. Yo sé que ya pensaron unas respuestas. I already have some questions in mind. So you give me the answers. Let's do this exercise individually, okay? Individual work.
Did you finish? No, teacher. Not yet. Teacher, I have a question. Uh, Tell me your question. What's the meaning inch? Inch is a form of measure. For example, let me show you here. Inch is when you have, for example, a ruler, right? You have a ruler. And this ruler, right? This ruler has a lot of here, things like, things like this, right? It has like this, right? And it says here, for example, one centimeter, sorry, one centimeter, right? One centimeter is here, here is five centimeters, right? Over here is five, three to five, right? It's right here. And then one inch is one inch. Pulgada. Equals, yeah, oops, sorry. One inch equals 2.5 centimeters. Una right? Pulgada. Una pulgada. Like my ah. finger, my finger is one centi, is one inch. One inch. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Teacher, to say the truth, to me, this is a very technique uh, vocabulary. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. Remember that the na name of the unit is technical support. So it's a lot of technical vocabulary. Y esperan a llegar al nivel 6. Huh? <laughs> You're going to be fine. Recuerden que ustedes tienen un, un desafío mayor que los, todos los demás que solo aprenden inglés. Right? Si ustedes están solo aprendiendo inglés, es como que, hello, how are you? Esto. Ustedes tienen que aprender, además de aprenderse el, el hello, how are you de todos los días, tienen que aprender vocabulario técnico que es más avanzado. Pero como ustedes quisieran escribir. <ríe> ustedes. Teacher. <ríe> ¿Sí? Car, car, ¿Cómo es? Cartridge. Cartridge. El... Ajá. ¿Qué significa? Oh, ya les, iba, ah, ya les iba a mostrar una imagen. But I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't show you a picture. Cartridges. Let me show you here because it's a little bit more difficult to explain, but for example, if you have a, a, a printer, right? You need to have the cartridges where you put the ink, right? This is this is not ink, este es aceitito, right? But let's suppose you use this, are the cartridges where you put the ink, right? La tinta. You put the ink here and then you put the cartridges inside the printer, right? So you put the cartridges in the printer so you can print. So what do you think is cartridges? I understand. What is it? Cartuchos. Cartuchos, exactly beautiful. Cartuchos, cartuchos de tinta. 
-huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Estos son cartuchos de tinta baratillo, de acuerdo. No, me quiere. De Teacher, I don't understand question number two. Oh, don't worry. For example, if I tell you, I'm going to ask you one question for Salvadoran culture, okay? What does stand for? What does ISS -S stand for? What does ISS -S stand for? For help people. No, what does ISS? ISS stand for Instituto Salvadoreño del Seguro Social. Instituto Salvadoreño del Seguro Social. Uh -huh. And then we can say, for example, what does, this is all Salvadorian, okay? What does CAPRES stand for? What does CAPRES stand for? Tell me. Casa Presidencial. Exactly, very good. So what does DPI stand for? Ah, uh, what doesn't mean DPI? Mm -hmm. No, what does DPI stand for? No el, no el significado, sino que a qué se refiere con cada, palabra, con cada letra. Por ejemplo, si usted va, va, eh, va a oír música, what does, what does MTV stand for? No le están diciendo qué, de qué se trata, sino qué significa MTV. Oh, it's music television. That's it. Usted no les tiene que explicar más. Solo decir qué significan estas letras. Qué significan estas letras. Right? That's what we're looking for. Is it clear, Anna? Sí, no? Otro ejemplo? Yes, thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you, Anna. Another person? Do we have the answers? I did. Did you finish? Yes. PP is nice. Very good. What about shoe, Karen? Tell me when you finish so we can share the answers. Dígame si ya terminaron para compartir las respuestas, por favor. Finish, teacher. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and practice here. Give me a moment. Okay. 
Okay. Now, tell me, Aide. Why is color important for some users? The color is important for presentation, math, and other page where color is part of information. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Does anybody have something different? Alguien tiene algo distinto? Do you have something different? Nope. Okay. Uh, I, add, I add to the answer, uh, the color is important for users who need the print page for presentation y lo que dijo ella. Exactly, very good. That's actually more complete. Excellent job, Aide and Ana. Let's see Gerardo, number two. What does DPI stand for? DPI stand uh, for many Yes, sir. Dots per inch. Okay. DPI stands for dot, dot per, per inch. inch. Yeah. Very well. Thank you so much, Gerardo. Teresa de Jesus. What are color printers more expensive? Why are color printers more expensive? Um, most expensive is inexpensive color printers Print. are more expensive printer um, do you have the sí, answer Teresa. Teresa no no había terminado esa ¿Cuáles tiene? Sure. Uh -huh. Ok, I think Sandra wants to help you. Sandra, go with number three. Because, because to operate sensor used to int car, car, cartridges. Uh -huh. Color printers, look at this, are more expensive to operate since they operate. use to encourage. Encourage. Is okay. This is the answer. Can you please read the answer, Sandra? Read color the answer. Printer, color printer are more expensive to operate since they use to encourage. Very well. Thank you so much, uh, Sandra. Thank you, Teresa. Let's go with the next Peter, question. Excuse yeah. me. I thought the answer was because they are much faster. Also, also that you can you can add their information. Mm -hmm. You can add their, that information. Right. In this case, they are more expensive since. They use to encourage. That's why here at the end it says uh, that they use better black and white because they are not expensive. Right? And that comes to question number four. Anna, can you answer question number four? I don't get it, teacher. I, to me, it was very difficult to understand the, the question. The, and, and, and look for the answers. Okay. What is something important for someone who prints a lot? Right? We have there, right? And it says here, what is something, for example, in the past, like three months ago, like hace tres meses, I had a student that he worked in a printing company. Okay? So he was printing books. So he doesn't print one page or two pages or a report. He prints a lot, right? So he told me that for him, it was important, right? That the, you know, the printer was big, really big. I don't know why, right? But that's what he said. But what about this information, right? Let's say, right, let's look for information about someone 
who prints a lot of pictures. You look at this. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will, fly, will find a black and white print cheaper to operate, right? That is something that we can say that is important for someone who prints a lot, right? Eso es algo importante que podemos encontrar es para alguien que imprime bastante, right? ¿Qué sería? Right? Que ellos no tienen un color específico, con que tengan blanco y negro, they are okay, right? So, ¿qué vamos a hacer para este tipo de preguntas? O para responder cualquier tipo de preguntas que tengamos en el futuro. Right? The first thing that we do, Ana y everyone else, esto es para todos, no solo para Ana. Uy, se me trabó acá. The first thing that you need to do is that you need to look for keywords. Tienen que ustedes buscar por palabras claves. Okay? Por ejemplo, si dice DPI, no voy a leer todo el texto. Voy a ir a buscar dónde dice DPI y ahí es donde voy a enfocar mi atención para responder esa pregunta. Okay? Ahora, si mi pregunta dice, Ana, dice something important, prints a lot, yo voy a buscar ya sea something important or prints a lot, que son las palabras que tienen más contenido. ¿Por qué? Porque what no es una palabra que tenga contenido, no solo dice what, qué, no tiene contenido, right? Entonces voy a buscar por las palabras de contenido, right? que usted que es teacher ya sabe que es una palabra de contenido, right? Entonces usted va a buscar por esa palabra en esta, en esta información. Acá, esta es una respuesta, ¿ok? Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find black and white printer cheaper to operate. Pero si yo me voy acá, right? Then we say, if you do much printing, ¿qué dijimos que era much? Es un sinónimo de a lot, right? Que bastante, mucho, right? Much printing, right? The speed of the printer becomes important. Ah, que es important también, right? Si yo busco donde dice important. Oh, aquí está otra respuesta de mi pregunta 4. If, if you do much printer, the speed of the printer becomes important. Buscamos, buscamos, buscamos. A lot important, ya no hay. Right? So, that, that will be my answers. Right? For number four. Okay, Ana? ¿Se entiende un poco cómo vamos a hacer las lecturas? En inglés, yes, thank you. Yes, thank you're welcome. Cuando ustedes vengan a hacer exámenes académicos para pasar, ¿ya han oído de un examen que se llama TOEFL? Que les dice, ah, usted puede hablar inglés. O si quieren viajar a, a, a otro país a estudiar, tienen que tener TOEFL, si no, no pueden ir a estudiar a otro país. Entonces les van a dar unos textos. Como dijo Ana, súper académico, súper técnico, que necesita saber qué significa esto. Right? Entonces, usted eso va a hacer. La, va a buscar las palabras de contenido. Y va a decir, ah, aquí dice Verónica. ¿Y dónde decía Verónica? Ah, dice Verónica ahí arriba. Ahí voy a poner mi atención para responder esa pregunta. Right? Es, a esa técnica se llama técnica de scanning. Scanning. Voy a poner acá. Es, oh, sí, la asistencia, ya, ahorita. Scanning. Esa es una técnica de lectura. Para no leer todo. Porque a veces no todo es importante. Thank you. And Karen. Karen, tell me, what is the amount of memory that most printers come with? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Is small amount of memory. Okay, is a for small example, amount of memory. For example, uh, for example, one megabyte. Very good. There you have the answer. Right? For example, one megabyte. Right? That is the usual amount of memory. Excellent job, Karen. Very good. Ahora dejamos de compartir un ratito, un ratito, un segundito. Let's call attendance.
Cámaras, por favor. Está aquí con Annalisa Valle de Molina. Presente. Brenda Yamilet yes, Estrada. Brenda Yamilet. Vamos a ver. Daniela María Ramos. Presente. Edwin Leonel. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Fátima Joana. Gerardo Antonio. Presente, teacher. Aide de la Paz. Aide de la Paz. Presente, teacher. Thank you, Aide. Jair Adonis Mártir Molina. Presente, teacher. Karen Janet Cruz. Presente. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. I'm here. Juana Cristela Euceda. Presente. Katia Carolina Parada. Marina Vanessa. Presente, teacher. Miriam Arely. Presente. Sandra Maricela. Presente. Teresa de Jesús. Presente, teacher. Verónica Esmeralda. Presente. Very good. So, we're going to have here, what we're going to do at this moment is the following, okay? I need you to pay attention to this because we're going to do this in groups. So, let's pay attention. This is going to be our next exercise. Now, let me make it bigger. We have here 10 situations, 10 situations. For example, situation number one says, I'm going to Starbucks. Voy a ir al Starbucks. Está sobrevalorado, pero para allá voy, okay? I'm going to Starbucks, right? Then I have different answers to in the other side. Look at these answers, A, B, C, D, blah, 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 L. Right? Number one to ten situations, A to L, possible questions, right? Yo le voy a estar haciendo solicitud a alguien que me diga, I'm going to Starbucks. Es cuando alguien le dice, mira, voy para el sub. Ah, tráeme tal cosa, right? So what we're doing that right now. I'm going to Starbucks. Could you please get me a cup of coffee? Right? So that situation match with the requests that I'm making. All of these requests are formal requests. Right? So we have, I'm going to the library. I'm going to our English class. I'm going to the kitchen. I'm going to London. I'm going to the vegetable market. I'm going to McDonald's. I'm going to the post office. I'm going to a pet shop. I'm going home. So we have these examples to this. What are you gonna do? You're gonna match them, right? So they make sense. Aquí si, I'm going to Starbucks. Oh, could you please uh, call me when you get home? That doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense. It's not related. She says, I'm going to Starbucks. Could you please buy some carrots? It doesn't make sense. No tiene sentido, right? Tienen que tener sentido cada una de nuestras preguntas con la situación, right? ¿Entendemos qué vamos a hacer? Yes? Yes. Can you please, yes, take, sure, a, yes. can you please take a screenshot? Dame una captura. Ahorita nos estamos dando un break del, del libro, ¿ok? Para que no, no nos sintamos tan agobiados. <ríe> Now, ¿ya tomaron la captura? Yes. Excellent. Now we're going to do this in pairs. Solo hay un grupo de tres, pero ahí, permítame. Sí, estamos bien. Ahí en ese grupo de tres va a estar Edwin. Right. Let's go. Let's go to the groups. Bye. Bye.
Verónica. Jonathan, vaya a pasar para su equipo, por favor. Jonathan. Jonathan. Jair, por favor, váyanse con su equipo. Hola, Verónica. Teacher, creo que Edwin está ocupado. Eso le iba a decir, fíjese que la había puesto con Miriam, pero Miriam se salió. Se salió. Uh -huh. Entonces lo voy a poner con alguien más y algo lo voy a mandar de bien a otro equipo, ¿ok? Ok. Vamos con Aide, ¿le parece con Aide? Sí. Vámonos. Vámonos chicos, vámonos para allá entonces. Aide de la Paz. Aide, Aide, Aide. No está tampoco. Tanto padre, permítame. Esto no puede ser. Hola, teacher. Hola, Aide. Aquí le traje dos amiguitos. Bueno, una amiguita para que traje con sola. Sí, la vimos solita, Bye. entonces nos venimos para acá. Vaya, mire, no capturé la pantalla. No, sí, ah, no yo... se preocupe, yo se las muestro aquí. Bueno. Ok. Verónica, bebé. Hola. <risa> ¿Pueden ver la pantalla? Sí, gracias. Sí, sí. Vaya, me avisan. Espérenme, que sale su carita ahí. Listo. No puedo... Ahora... <risa> no, sale su carita <risa> Siempre la tengo guardada con todas las caras ahí. ¿eh? Ay, no hay más que mis caras. Ya he visto unas que estoy así, así. Bien rara. <risa> ok. No me sale, es que yo me, me cuesta capturar esto. Se la voy a mandar ¿Te a ahorita. Pasar, ¿Le enseñé? Sí, me ah, enseñé. Mira, la después... al grupo. ¿Ya la mandó alguien? Sí. Vale, ah, si ya no la hay... mandaron. Sí, vale. vaya, sí. Tiche, gracias. Gracias. Bueno, chicas, nos vemos okay. en otro equipo. Si no, ahorita quiero ver si se la puedo mandar yo también. Vaya, démosle. Ah, démosle, pa. démosle ah. niñita. Ahí va. Ahí va eso. Uy, no está completa, pero ahí va. Right. Sí, en un momento. Ok, dicha. Me, me dice I going para la Cosa. Uh -huh. eh, Do you have questions? G. Eh, no, teacher, the moment, no. Okay, see you in a moment. <laughs> okay, okay. <teacher. laughs> Sería letter G. Okay. Could you please wash the dishes? Letter G. Mm -hmm. Sí. ¿Cómo va para Ay, la cocina? Estoy más. Ajá. Ajá. Podrías lavar los, los, los de dishes. No sé si los dishes son los trastes. Los trastes los platos. Algo así. Uh -huh. Please get me some friends. Letter G. G. La, la G. Okay. Letter G. Ah. G. Uh -huh. Could you please ah, okay. wash the dishes? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. How you Después lo llenamos para eso. Number five. I'm going to London. London. London, ¿qué es? Quiero ver. Okay. London, ¿qué no es un país? Ah. Ajá, okay. Voy para London. Ah, cuando tú llegues. Sería la K, ¿verdad? La K. Could you please call me when you get home? Podría llamarme cuando estés en casa, algo así, me imagino. Bueno, si no, después lo rectificamos. Démosle. Call you get. Ajá. Number six. Vamos a ver. I'm going to the vegetable market. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the vegetable market. Market. ¿Qué sería de eso? Ay, rabbit food. Rabbit food. Eh, 
Ay, ¿cómo se llama? Zanahoria, ¿verdad? Rabbit, no. Oh, ¿O no? Uh -huh. no? No, 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 perdón, 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 Rabbit, no, perdón. No, Rabbit es conejo, creo. Ah, pues no. no. O podría ser Ay, este, loca, <risa> eh, leer, er, sí. Carol, sí. Could you please get, uh -huh. get me some French? No. 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 Esa es la siguiente. Esta va a ser para las siete. Uh -huh. mm. Porque la siete dice, I'm going to McDonald's. Entonces ahí va, podrías traerme papas fritas. Uh -huh. Ah, sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces en la seis sería letter C. Could you please sí. buy some carrot? Eh, yo no por qué me confundí. Carrot es creo que es zanahoria. Uh -huh. Ah, o sea que confundió carrot. Con Ajá, con Robin. Y Robin es el conejo. Okay. Ajá. Ajá. Vaya, entonces, number seven es el letter D. McDonald's es letter uh -huh. D. Ok. Ok, right. eh, number eight, I'm going to the post office. I'm going to the post office. Eh. Son stamp. Yes. Están, creo que es de estampa. Creo, va estampa. Bueno, pongámosle el R H. Stamp. Creo que se refiere a estampa. ¿Cómo va para la, la, la oficina de postal? Uh -huh. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Letter H. Es H, ¿verdad? H. H, ajá, H. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Vaya, hoy sí. La otra dice: I'm going to a pet shop. Shop. Ajá, va a comprar una mascota. Entonces, ese se aplica la rabia. Ok. Aquí. Uh -huh. Letter H. Ahí se aplica. Se lo digo con propiedad que sí aplica. Ajá. Rabbit food. Ay, ay, aquí sí ya me puso en qué pensar la última porque yo agarré. Please comprar. Ay, que no le entiendo. I want to come. Yo voy para la casa. Sí. Ajá, ¿verdad? Yo voy a casa. Sí, voy a casa. Híjole, ah, pues aquí, eh, ¿cuál, en la, I'm going to London. Ay, Dios, ya me confundí. Ah, eh, eh, usted tomó la K completa, ¿verdad? Call you uh -huh. this, call me, call me, call me when you get home. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, es que ahí como que está mala la, 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 la criatura. El con... number five. Sí, es que están así, ¿cómo le puedo decir? Pero, pero. Ay, Daniela. ¿Ya entró yo, ah, Nata? Sí, creo que se salió. Sí, para aparecer Zoom lo estaba sacando. Yo, Nata. Jonathan, Jonathan, no, no está, no está, no está, no está. Ok, hey, Daniela, vamos a hacer algo. Lo voy aquí a estoy, a... teacher, pero es que, hola, teacher, aquí estoy, pero es que realmente no puedo interactuar porque voy conduciendo. Entonces se me dificulta mucho entender la práctica, perdón, pero aquí voy, estoy escuchando. Vale, entonces lo voy a poner solo de escuchante porque no lo puedo poner en un equipo. Si no me avisa Vaya, de que teacher. no puede participar de, de totalmente, yo lo voy a meter a un grupo, ¿ok? Entonces sí, me perdón, tiene que decir. Que... Sí, sí, lo siento, pero es que me sacó la, me sacó el, el, la señal. Va, entonces váyase ahorita al grupo de Ana. Y usted, Daniela, lo voy a mandar al grupo de Karen, ¿ok?
No, no Hi. es gratis. Ya no fuimos, quizá. No, todavía ah. no. Ah. <ríe> Aquí les mandé a, a Daniela que les ayude. Right? Ah. Les ayudan a ellos. Okay, ¿Cómo están? <ríe> sí. Para okay. que se ayuden mutuamente. Help each other. Ah, sí, con la duda que tenemos, Karen. Teacher. ¿Cuál es su duda? Ajá, dígame. Vaya. Eh, the, the, uh, number five. I'm going to London. Uh -huh. London es Londres. Yep. London, Ajá. Londres. Va. Y, y, ok, tengo duda. No sé si en la, en la letra A no dice, could you please buy some fish and cheese for me? Eh, ¿Es como la comida oh. típica de Londres? Some fish and chips for me, yes. Fish and chips. Ah, ok, ah, pues sí. Yeah. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Me ahí se me fue el A y B. Ajá. Yo había Ajá, pues... sí, sí, se, se, pues se va. Son este... Ah, pues sí, entonces, eh, thank you, teacher. Eh, Teresa, hola, Daniela, no nos ve porque como estamos trabajando con el celular. <risa> nos quedan 60 segundos. Ok, okay. este... Eh, Daniela... No me... Hola. Hola, eh, ¿ya las contesto o le decimos cómo las tenemos? Ya las tengo, solo en la 8 tengo duda. Ajá, igual. Ah, en la 8. I'm going to the post office. Para nosotros pusimos la letter H. Could you please get some stamp? Mm. ¿Cómo va a la, a la oficina de postal? Va. Entonces, si ¿sí podría traer algunas estampas. Pusimos Correct. la H. Yes. Ok. ¿Sí? Ok. Sí. Ok, vale. Teresa, entonces en la 10 sería la letra K. Uh -huh. Ahí vamos a hacer el cambio. No, porque... Siga la escena del máximo y dígame la respuesta a la número 2. <risa> la 2. Yes. Uh, la dos dijimos que era para nosotros la respuesta. Read the situation and then the answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the library. Mm -hmm. Could you please return this book for me? Yes, that is correct. Could you please return this book for me? Very good. That is correct. So let's check this out. Uh, could you please return this book for me? Very good. Vamos a tacharlo. We're going to cross it out because that's our answer. Right, very good. Could you please return this book for me? Now, who's next? Aide, who is next? Next person or next answer? Next person. Who is next? Uh, who? Uh, Daniela. Daniela. I'm going to our English class. Could you please tell our teacher that I will be late? Very good. Could you please tell our teacher that I will be late? Excellent job, Daniela. Now, let's, who's next, Daniela? Who is next? Karen. Karen. Number four. Number four. I'm going to the kitchen. Letter mm -hmm. eh... E. Could you Literally. please wash the dishes? Could you please wash the dishes? Okay. Could you please wash the dishes? Yes. No, ya no voy. Me dio a la ganería. <laughs> <laughs> Mejor no. Okay, very good. Could you please wash the dishes? Excellent. Karen, who is next? Eh, Teresa. <laughs> Teresa, number five. Um... I'm going to London. Okay. Espérame, mm -hmm. eh, estoy en la cápsula. <laughs> eh, sería. 
No veo acá. Eh, call you please. Buy some fish and chips for Would you me. Please buy some chip, no fish and chips for me. Very good. Could you please buy some fish and chips for me? Fish and chips is the traditional food in London, in the UK. Right? It's like pupusas here in El Salvador. So if you buy fish and chips, right? Chips are French fries. Those are the chips. Now let's, who's next, Teresa? Um, Gerardo. Gerardo, number six. I'm going to the vegetable market. Market. Uh, could you please buy some carrots? Could you please buy some carrots? What is carrots? Zanahorias. Zanahorias. Bien. Carrots. Excellent. Very good. Who is next, Gerardo? Um, ahorita verá. Uh -huh. Miriam Luna. Miriam Luna. I'm going to the to I'm going to McDonald's. Me sacó. Okay. So you're not ready? No tiene la respuesta, Miriam? No, Lick. Okay, choose another person, Gerardo. Okay. Eh, Edwin Lionel. No. Tampoco. Otro. Tan peor. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tan peor. <laughs> este, vamos a ver. Marín, Marina. Marina. Cipota. Okay. I'm going to McDonald's, Marina. I rather go. Uh -huh. I'm going to Burger King. Uh, could you please get me some fresh fries? Yes, I could. Very good. Could you please get me some French fries? And look at this. French fries. These are in America. French fries. French and fries. in England, they are chips. Yeah. The same. Okay. The same. Very good, Vanessa. Who's next, Vanessa? Sandra. Sandra. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm going to the post office. The answers. Could you please give me some stamps? Some stamps. Okay. Could you please get me some stamps? Very well. Thank you, Sandra. Who is next? Um, 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 Daniela. Daniela, number nine. I'm going to a pet shop. Could you please buy some rabbit food? Oh, okay. Yes, I could. Okay. Now, the last one, who is next, Daniela? Anna. Anna, I'm going yes, home. Anna. <laughs> I'm going home. I'm going home. Could you please call me when you get home? Very good. Could you please call me when you... I would say, could you please call me when you get there? Right? Para no repetir. Right? I could say, could you please call me when you get there? Gerardo tenía razón. Right? ¿Verdad? <risa> ¿El qué? ¿Qué tenía razón? ¿De qué? Cuéntenos el chamba. No, es que estábamos en duda con eso. Estábamos Ajá. en duda con eso. ¿Y qué estaba en duda? ¿Cuál era? <risa> ah, ok. Porque como habían más letras que respuestas, entonces nos confundimos. Pero, ajá, yo creo que esa era, le digo yo a ellos. Uh -huh. Entonces. <risa> el bullet, el bullet, el bullet. Me, me arruinó todo. Ok, so we got the answers and the situations. Todas estas son situaciones reales, right? Todas estas son funciones de la vida real, no son inventos. Todos alguna vez hemos dicho, I'm going to McDonald's. 
I'm going to Burger King. I'm going to La Pizza, right? Todos hemos dicho eso alguna vez en nuestra vida. And those are situations that we use in real life. Esas son preguntas o, 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 o solicitudes que ustedes les pueden hacer a alguien que les diga eso. O se las pueden hacer a ustedes, right? They can ask you that as well, right? So now, do you have questions about this exercise? No? Let's continue. Teacher. Yep. Teacher, digamos como pensándolo en español, uh -huh. es así, voy a ir a la cocina, voy a ir a London, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I'm going. I'm going, sí, es el futuro, uh -huh. voy para tal parte. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. You, You're welcome, Marina. Now, any other question? No questions. Okay, so let's Nothing. continue. We're gonna continue here. Uy, qué poquito tiempo nos queda. We're gonna do another exercise. Now, because I want our work is for you to know how to use could for requests, right? Now, look at this. These are other no, let me show you here. Let's go ahead and ya hicimos could and can. Voy a enseñar otro ejercicio, ¿ok? Let me show you. One moment. Ah. This one. Veamos. Can you see the screen? Give me one moment. My computer is frozen. Mi computadora se ha trabado. Un segundo. Your computer is stuck. <laughs> My computer is frozen, it's stuck. Está jugando Mika. No good. <laughs> you could, re, re, you could, could you report. restart the computer. Or uh -huh, rest, mm -hmm. restaurant? Yeah, I could, but I will lose the class. <laughs> <laughs> sí. Just breathe. <laughs> Okay, let me show you. I think we're there. Oh, I see. No, I said a libro. Acá. Okay, now we have here it says write five questions, right? that your boss, we're gonna use two scenarios, work, right? Work in your house, right? Your home. It says, write five questions that your boss or someone at home may ask you next week, right? Use could or can, right? Now I have some examples. Can you read the first two examples, Marina? Could you send me the student's score for this week? Okay. Can you turn on the TV? Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, question number one. Do you think this is someone at my at my home or my boss? 
Could you send me the students' scores from this week? What do you think? Is this some, something formal or informal? Formal. It's formal. It is formal. Okay, it is formal. And is it my boss or someone at home? A boss. My boss. boss. Okay, very good. Right, so we have there eight. the first one. This is something. Oh, I hate this. Okay, this is something formal and it's my boss, right? And if I say, can you turn on the TV? Is this formal or informal? Informal. Informal. informal? informal. Very good. It is informal. Right? And do you think this is my boss or someone at home? Home. Um, home. Yeah, that's true. That was actually my husband before the class, right? Someone at home, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna have there, right? our example these are examples and then we have another three and four five these these are my examples okay these are my examples now i want you to write those five questions but we're going to write those five questions or six questions if you want to because we're gonna work in groups okay vamos a hacer en, no creo que mucho tiempo para cinco preguntas let's do them individually hagamos las individuales Yes, let's do them individually, right? So we can do it faster. Think about your boss. Piensen sobre su jefe. Miren, ya acá pensé. Okay, my boss is going to tell me, okay, could you teach the reports to the employees? Oh, okay. Could you write the reports in the office? So yes, in my home office. I would do that in my home office, right? But it's still formal because he is my boss. I, here I thought about my mom. Sylvia, can you clean the bedroom right now? And I said, no, I can't, I'm working, right? So let's do it. Did you finish? Tell me when you finish so we can continue with the next exercise. How do you say in English, encuesta teacher? Survey. Survey. Let me put it in the chat.
teacher. Yes. Can you help me a cup? This is correct. Which one? Repítalo, Sandra. Can you help me a cooking? O a cook, a cook sería verdad. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que me puede ayudar a cocinar o sí. Can you help me cooking? Can you help me cooking? Okay. Si usted dice a cook, a cook es un cocinero. Okay, entonces, can you help me cooking? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Sandra. Pero anótela ya la par, ¿qué significa? Uh -huh. Finish. Finish. Very well. One more minute. Okay, let's check the answers. Let's check the questions. Can you please tell us one of the questions that you have written, Karen? Two questions. Usted nos dice dos respuestas así eh, habladas y escriba las otras tres en el chat, ¿ok? Mientras otra persona participa y así vamos para avanzar, ¿ok? Let's start. Eh, could you call the clients today? Uh -huh. Could you please check email tomorrow? Eh, Very good. Eh, could you send... A memo? Work, a memo. Work. Okay. A, a, a work memo. memo. Okay, very good. Write them down. Escriba las que les han falta en el chat mientras escuchamos a Daniela. Could you send the orders to the clients? Mm -hmm. And the second, could you teach the system to your coworkers? Okay, very good. Thank you, Daniela. Right, and continue, Ana. Escuchen, por favor, los ejemplos. ¿Qué vocabulario nuevo? Sandra, Gerardo, Edwin, Jonathan, Teresa, Verónica, encena sus cámaras. Siento que estoy hablando conmigo misma, un monólogo. Number one, can you open the window before leave? Number two, could you... Answer and send me the survey. Number three, can you bring me the towel, please? Okay, very good, Anna. I just have one question in the no, no question. I have a comment in the first one. First one, before leaving. Before leaving. Okay. Y aquí tienen que recordarse todos, todos, todos. Okay, escuchen. Cuando tenemos una acción. Quiere decir un gerundio, una actividad que la creamos como verbo. Por ejemplo, swimming, living, ya me voy. No, soy, no es present progressive. Antes de que te vayas, before living, before living, before eating. Siempre que tengamos eso o un verbo después de una preposición, ese verbo va a ir con ing. Preposiciones, right? Before after, right? Vamos a poner atención y lo vamos a poner con ing, right? Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Can you go to dinner? Very good, Daniela. Now, write the examples, Karen. No le voy a escribir su ejemplo. Solo tengo ahí los de Daniela. O déjeme ver. No han cargado. No, no han cargado todavía. Eh, Gerardo, go. Haciéndolas este ahorita, teacher, es que estoy haciendo un correo que me acaban de escribir, perdón. Ahí se potón. Ok, eh, let's see, Marina. 
Este, could you send me the letters, the letter for signature? The letter for el signature. El, 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 el la carta, de car, la carta quería decir. The letter, letters, 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 exactly. Letters. Very good. The, the letters, letters, the letters for signature. Um, could you, could you call clients for meet? For the um, meeting. For for the for meeting. meeting. For the meeting. Uh -huh. For for the meeting. Um, for the meeting. Uh, could you? Could you write mm -hmm. the report week? The weekly report? The weekly? The week, weekly report. Report, exactly. Okay. Very good, write the other ones. Let's continue with Teresa. Teresa, go. Teacher, no las tengo todas. ¿Y ahora es que tiene? Díganos las que tiene. Okay. Can you can you do the coffee? Uh -huh. uh, call you write written. No, call you write uh -huh. the the activities the my boss. Es, es como si Es como si mi jefe me diera las actividades que se van a hacer, algo así. ¿Las actividades que se van a hacer cómo? Es como solicitar al jefe las actividades que se van a hacer. Can you request the activities to the boss? Ok. Thank you, Teresa. Ok. Do I have any other participant? ¿Tengo algún otro participante? Verónica? Me? Verónica y Sandra. Ok, Sandra. Could you answer the email, please? Mm -hmm. Could you print the document this moment? Ok. Could, could you help me the could you help me cooking? Could you help me cooking? Very well. Now we listen to Verónica. Escriban los otros, por favor. Sus otros okay. ejemplos, escribanlos. Answer, Ana, solo va con una W. Answer. Only one. Verónica. I'm all ears. Could you review the document? Uh -huh. Can you wash the dishes? Could you visit, visit the client tomorrow? Very good, Verónica. Right. Yo hice cuatro. Ok, díganos dos. Okay, este, could you send me a report? Okay. Can you open the door? Uh -huh. Esa es la informal e informal. Exactly. ¿Le digo las otras dos o solo con eso? No, it's okay. Very good. A menos que tenga dudas en las otras dos. Ah. Uh, okay, escríbalas. No. Now, we're going to show you here. But we have the, can you help me buy at the supermarket? Can you turn off the lights? Good. Solo veo tres. Daniela, Ana y Karen. ¿Y los demás? Vamos, que le voy a mandar. Voy, teacher. Te voy a mandar typing practices. Voy a mandar exámenes para que empiecen a practicar como escribir rápido. Ok. Now, we're going to go here, right? And I want you to look at this. This is something nice because this is a complaint form. It's on page 46. Complaint form. What is a complaint? What is a complaint? For example, you know, eh, last weekend, la semana pasada, last weekend, I bought this. Y sigo con mi botecito. I bought this aceite para cutícula. Right? Aceite cutícula. I bought it. But, mm -mm, I don't like it because it's leaking. When I put it like this, it's ping, ping, leaking. Right? So I don't like it. So I have a complaint with the company. Say, mm -hmm, 
this Amo. exactly very good you say ah oh, no complaint is reclamar quejarse right and that's very common in the u.s eso es así como, como el pan de todos los días en estados unidos right if you have worked with customer service you know what it's like when you receive complaints right reclamas por todo Pedimos cinco dólares. ¿Y por qué me dieron cinco dólares? Yo no se los pedí. Right? So, we have a lot of complaints. Right? So, that's what we have here. This is an example of a complaint form. Right? We can see here this complaint form. Right? And then we need to fill out. Ah, esa era la otra. Se me olvidó. Permítame. Pausa. Pausa. Ana, usted dijo answer the survey. ¿Verdad? Yes. Vale, va a poner ahí. Fill out the survey. Okay. Fill out the survey. Okay. Antes que se olvide. Now we have. Uy, eso está malo. Miren, oh, chicos. Sir. No. Could you fill out the survey? Could you fill out the survey. Right. Now we have a complaint form. Ahorita se lo vamos a conocer. Mañana vamos a terminarla. Right. Now we have a complaint for name of the compliant. What is the question that I can ask someone if I want to say the name? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? I don't know your name, so I want to know your names. What is the question? ¿Qué debo preguntar? Full name. What are could you doing? You, no. No, could you? What's your name? What is your name? What is yeah. What's your name? My name is Daniela. What's your name? My name is Jonathan. What's your name? My name is Edwin, right? So that's how we say it. Now, what about the date? What should I ask if I have the date? What is... uh -huh. No, no, porque no sé si es la fecha de ese día. O es what is your birthday? What? ¿A quién habló? Teacher, yo dije, what is your birthday? Mm, okay, but we are not talking about the birthday. We're no. talking about the date of the complaining form. For example, today is September 30th. Right? So what is the question? Yo ya tengo una respuesta. Today is September the 30th. Right? ¿Cuál sería una respuesta con base en esa respuesta? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta, teacher? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Uy, oh, ya, estoy loca. Is today? What? What day is today? What day yes. is today? Correct. What day is today? Today is, right? What day is today? Right? Excellent. Now, what about here I have home phone number. Home phone number. Gerardo? Phone number, number phone, no, phone number. What is your phone number? What is your phone number? Very good. And what about work phone number? What is uh, your work phone number? Excellent, excellent, very good. What should I ask Sandra if I want to know the street address? A street address. Sandra? Street. Give, give me address. Give me your address. Ju, hurry up. <laughs> what is your address? What is your address? Okay, very good. What's your address? That's a good question. Podría ser right. también, could you give me the, the fax number of your work? There could be another one. Right, but if we want to ask the address, could you give me your street address, please? Right, muy bien. We have email and so on, right? So, this is going to be our first exercise for tomorrow. Este va a ser nuestro primer ejercicio de mañana, right? Now, this is in the libro, no se preocupen, pero necesito saber si tienen alguna duda de los temas good 
can and with. Any questions? I need you to ask questions. ¿Tiene ninguna pregunta? No, teacher. Are you sure? Ah, no sé, pero me aflige que no te hagan preguntas, fíjense. Bien rara yo, ¿verdad? Da, da, da. Si okay. no he entendido mal, uh -huh. ¿verdad que el, el could se usa para una forma o una manera formal de decir las cosas y el can es de una manera informal? Y Exacto. creo que sería una, buen, una buena manera para guiarnos y no confundirnos. Porque la estructura de la, de la pregunta o de la oración al final es prácticamente lo mismo. It's the same. Uh -huh. It's the same, very good, you got it, you got it right. Usted lo entendió perfectamente, right? So la única diferencia es que uno es para formales y otro para informales. La estructura es la misma, right? Y la única forma de aprendérnoslo es practicándolo, right? That's the only way, right? Aquí no hay forma, fórmulas mágicas de que Tim Marín de Doping Web, no, right? O lo aprende o lo aprende, right? Now let me show you here. The, bueno, no se los puedo mostrar, perdón, 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 perdón. Vamos a ver el avance que tenemos de cada uno. Ana Alicia Valle, right? Eh, la tarea 4, o sea, la semana 4, eh, no está completa, o sea, no tenemos el 80% aún. Por favor, trabajar en la semana 4. Igual en el examen final, el cual se vence mañana. Brenda Yamilet, ya terminó todo. Cristela, ya terminó todo muy bien. Daniela, ya terminó todo. Edwin Leonel, ha terminado todo de, for de forma igual. Tenemos Fátima Joana Tejada, no está acá, así que no voy a proveer su información. We have Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Very good. Ya tiene toda la información. Hay de la, de la Paz Santos, igualmente. Jair Adonis. Ya estamos trabajando en todas las actividades muy bien. Jonathan Alexis. Jonathan. Está aquí Jonathan. Jonathan. ¿Me escucha Jonathan? Hola, teacher, dígame. Ok. Necesito Jonathan que vaya y me trabaje en la semana 4, por favor, porque tiene bastantes actividades pendientes. Ok. Trabajeme la semana 4 y el examen final que es para mañana. No es para el sábado, chicos. Es para mañana. Karen Janet, todo completo, excelente. Katia no está. María Vanessa Vázquez. Ma uh, ok, ok, ok. Marina Vanessa. Yes, teacher. Tiene que trabajar en la plataforma, si no se va a quedar. Yes, okay. teacher. Ok. Yo, yo le soy honesta, tiene que trabajar. Vamos a ver aquí Sandra Maricela. Sandra Maricela va a medias con la semana 4 y el parcial. Tiene que trabajar en ambos. Y Santos Alberto no está. Teresa, excelente trabajo. Verónica, excelente trabajo también. Entonces, ese es el reporte de, de su trabajo en plataforma. Recuerden, si ya, ya recibieron la service, no la llenen, por favor, no la llenen. Ya tengo otro grupo por allá, no mío, de otra persona, que ya están llenando las encuestas y solo las están mandando así a la Zumba Marumba. Don't do that. Ok, no hagan eso. Ahora, rapidito la asistencia, antes que se me vayan. Right. Ana Alicia Valle. Presente. Thank you. Brenda Yamilet. Daniela María. Presente. Edwin Leonel. Fátima Joana, Gerardo Antonio. Presente. Thank you. Aide de la Paz. Presente, teacher. Jair Adonis. Jonathan Alexis. Presente. Juana Cristela. Karen Janet. Presente. Katia Carolina. Marina Vanessa. 
Presente, teacher. Miriam Romero. Presente. Sandra Cepeda. Presente. Teresa de Jesús y Verónica Esmeralda. Presente. Thank Presente, you so teacher. Much. You're welcome. Now, guys, we're going to stop right here with today's class. Right? And I see you, please, tomorrow at 8. No falten mañana, es el último día de clases, por favor. Necesito que estén presentes. Este día le corresponde a Teresa de Jesús. No sé si se va a quedar y si no se va a quedar, puede avisar para que alguien más tal vez se quiera quedar. ¿Ok? No, no puedo, teacher. Alguien más, si, se, si usa quedarse, se puede quedar. Right? I see you tomorrow at 8. A las 8. No. No, a las 8 y 5. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. bye, Ana. bye guys. Ana, Daniela. Bye. A las 8. Bye. No puedo salir, Tich. Pero, adiós, ahora sí. Adiós. <ríe> Edwin, ¿tiene alguna pregunta, Edwin? No, Tich, lo siento. Ok, pasa buen día, Edwin. Gracias, igual.